Hello there, good morning to you and welcome to once again our wonderful daily devotional for today, Wednesday the 13th of January. And this morning we'll be continuing in our series, The Measure of Christ in You, and we'll be looking at self-sufficiency. Our Bible text is taken from Judges chapter 16, we'll read from verse 20 to 21. She said, The Philistines are upon you, Samson. And he woke up from his sleep and said, I will go up out as I have time after time and shake myself free. For Samson did not know that the Lord had departed from him. Verse 21. He said, Then the Philistines seized him and gorged out his eyes, and they brought him down to Gaza and bound him with two bronze chains. And he was forced to be a grinder of grain into flour and the meal in the prison. Our memory verse is taken from John chapter 15, verse 5. He says, I am the vine, you are the branches. He that abided in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. Now, when we talk about the measure of Christ in you with respect to self sufficiency, many other times when we talk about sufficiency, um, a lot of us as believers think, first of all, go towards, lean towards, relying on our own strength. But this morning, when we, talk, when we are talking about self sufficiency, we are talking about relying on a supernatural source, a source from God, which a source which is from God. I'll give you two um, biblical examples. Um, one of them is um, from where we took our, mem- our Bible text from. We saw that story of Samson. Samson, in the past, when you look at his life before he was captured by the Philistines, you will notice that when you read through the scriptures, you before Samson would go ahead to do exploits in the war front and against his enemies, you read before the scriptures where it says, and the spirit of the Lord came upon him, which means Samson's sufficiency was of God. The spirit of the Lord always had to come upon him. But unfortunately, Samson, in that scripture where we read, thought of himself as the one who was sustaining himself. And unfortunately, the God, the spirit of God had left him. Another example, classical example, will be seen in Daniel chapter 4. We read from, if you read from verse 28 to 37, it talks about King Nebuchadnezzar who thought of himself to be likened as God. But if you read that story carefully, you see that Nebuchadnezzar was drawn to the bush for seven years. He was, his throne was taken from him because what? He, he, he assumed the position that he had been the one sustaining himself. He has been the one bringing about the mighty things that have been happening in Babylon. But God brought him down to his knees. Then I would like to share with us a, a, a familiar example. Now, I'm sure most of us have um, waters running from our taps in our various houses. Now, what you would no- notice is that if the tap is not connected to a source, which is your, your reservoir tank, whether above or somewhere in your in your house, then the tap will not be able to produce water. Now that is what the tap relying on a source. Now even the reservoir tank has a source which is from the ground and brought from the borehole. So our reliance as Christians is likened to that scenario. Our source, just like we saw in our memory verse, John chapter 15, verse 5, it says, I am the vine, ye are the branches, which means for us to be self-sufficient, then we need to be rooted in Christ. We need to be connected at all times to Christ to enable us to get into that place of self-sufficient. Our reliance has to be totally on God for us to thrive, for us to bear fruit, for us to excel in whatever we find ourselves. We need to be rooted in Christ. And that brings us to what measure of Christ do you have in you? Are you, are you? Do you have a sufficient measure of Christ in you to be self-sufficient? I'd like to pray for us this morning. I say, Father, that you will cause us to be rooted in you to, to, to maintain our, our sufficiency in you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you. God bless you. I want to enjoin you if you enjoyed this video, if you've been enjoying our teachings, why not click on the subscribe button, the bell icon, and God will bless you as you do. Do have a lovely day. Thank you.